Hello all. In this video, let us test the Waveshare 7 inch display with the touch and HDMI. Let us test it with the Raspberry Pi 4. The display has got a resolution of 1024 by 600 pixel and is uh, capable of touch and HDMI connectivity. The previous models uh, were supplied with 800 by 400 uh, pixels. The new version is 1024 by 600 pixel. Let us see how to test it with the Raspberry Pi 4. The model uh, the, uh, display is supplied with some cables. One HDMI small cable is provided and also a, a USB cable for uh, touch and uh, power and a converter is provided HDMI to micro HDMI uh, converter this is required for Raspberry Pi 4 there is also a clone model in the market let us uh, compare the original wave share with this uh, uh, clone model also the clone looks similar to that of the original wave share but the controller HDMI controller IC is different and uh, uh, the clone has got two uh, mini USB connectors one for touch and one for uh, power apart from the HDMI connectors there is also a on off switch power on off switch the top top one is the WaveShare original and the bottom one is the clone uh, there is a USB protocol translator in the original for uh, smooth touch control with the crystal the crystal is missing in the clone and near the hdmi uh, there is a emi and est protection circuit in the original which is missing in the uh, clone model only the us hdmi connector is there and it is directly taken care by the controller and uh, in original there is only a one uh, micro usb for touch and power but there are uh, two connectors in the clone and uh, a VCOM voltage adjustment for optimizing display effect is there in the uh, original display that small preset is there VCOM adjustment now let us test it with the Raspberry Pi 4 before that we have to make ready the Raspberry Pi OS with the uh, SD card always use class 10 type uh, SD card to prepare the uh, operating system and use a card reader for this once the OS is ready, plug into your Windows machine. The Windows machine will display only the uh, boot partition and it will not show the root partition. Right click on uh, root part, uh, boot partition and then create a new file named ssh.txt. Finally, delete this uh, .txt so that only the ssh file is there. On next boot, the ssh will be enabled automatically. Now click on the config.txt file. We have to modify and add some lines to enable the HDMI display. Scroll to the bottom and then add these lines. First line is max underscore USB underscore current equal to 1. This will make the current over USB to 1.2 amps. As we are uh, supplying power to HDMI display, this is very important. And next one is the HDMI group and uh, HDMI mode. This is uh, 2 and 87. This is to configure the HDMI uh, format. And then we define the coordinated video timings. That is uh, uh, 1024 width, 600 height, 60 hertz frame rate, and 6 is the 15 is to 9 aspect ratio. And uh, uh, margin disable and the second zero is for progressive interface and then we uh, HDMI underscore ignore underscore EDID this is very important so this is to ignore the EDID or display data and then HDMI boost boost equal to 2 and without this uh, HDMI underscore ignore EDID the HDMI display 1024 display will not work uh, save this uh, uh, config dot text file remove the SD card and plug it to the Raspberry Pi 4 now connect the HDMI cable and then the micro USB cable the micro USB cable uh, the other end is connected to the USB port of Raspberry Pi 4 and the HDMI cable is connected to the HDMI port for this you require a, a converter micro HDMI to a regular HDMI converter uh, take care while connecting this uh, micro HDMI connected to Raspberry Pi 4 as the HDMI socket is very flimsy uh, hold. Now plug in the HDMI cable to this socket The power required is uh, at least 5 volt 2.4 amps and the cable is C type cable Yes, uh, the power is supplied from the 
uh, for both the display and uh, RPA4, so at least 2.4 amps is required. Now the uh, Raspberry Pi will boot and you can see the display on the uh, HDMI display. You can see the touch is also very smooth and working perfectly. Now let us test this uh, uh, display, the clone display. Remove the HDMI connector and connect it to the clone display and then uh, remove the USB, micro USB connect it to the touch portion of the, the that is the second connector that is power and then touch you connect it to touch and uh, now provide the uh, C cable, power cable the display will boot uh, it will take a moment as compared to the original one and uh, you can see the nice, nice display the touch is also very effective so the clone display is also similar to the Wayshare original but the lifetime may be different now let us see how to enable auto connect with Wi-Fi remove the SD card and plug into the Windows machine and open the boot partition right click and create a new text document and name it as WPA underscore supplicant dot CONF dot TXT file after uh, editing this file you have to remove the dot txt extension open this uh, wpa supplicant file and add in this uh, credentials you have to add the uh, wi-fi credentials initially control interface is uh, given and then update config is one and you have to uh, uh, include the country uh, and then the network credentials two network credentials can be included according to the priority so uh, the Raspberry Pi will connect to the uh, Wi-Fi accordingly to the priority automatically save this file and then remove the SD card and plug it to the Raspberry Pi 4 to boot it uh, before that you have to delete the .txt extension so that the file name is only WPA underscore supplicant .conf once the Raspberry Pi is uh, booted you can see the display and you can see uh, the Wi-Fi is automatically enabled and connected to the uh, uh, SSID according to the credentials you are given. You can also uh, include a matchbox keyboard for uh, typing on the screen. Thank you for watching.